friends welcome to engineering tutorial so we'll continue our discussion related to sensors transducers and instrumentation so in this video we're going to discuss about uh, strain measurement with the help of piezoelectric transducer okay so we have already discussed in detail about piezoelectric transducer so here we'll just go in a quick way Piezoelectric materials are those which uh, operate on the principle of piezoelectric effect that is when pressure or force is applied across the two surface or the ends of the uh, material it undergoes deformation and this results in the generation of an electric potential this is called as the piezoelectric effect and the opposite or the reverse is also true that is when an electric potential is applied across the two ends then the crystal or the piezoelectric material it undergoes deformation it undergoes vibration it oscillates with a certain frequency this is called as the inverse piezoelectric effect now these two uh, phenomena these two principles are used in various sensing and transduction uh, methods to convert suitable physical parameters into electrical signals. Now the piezoelectric materials they can be categorized into two uh, forms that is two categories natural crystals, quartz, tourmaline etc and synthetic crystals rochel salt, lithium sulphate, dipotassium tartrate the commonly used piezoelectric crystals. So here we are discussing strain measurement. So before we go into detail, whenever we have uh, any material, an object, it is subjected to force or pressure, it undergoes compression or expansion. So when it undergoes compression, it length, its length decreases and cross-sectional area increases. And whenever it is expanded, its length increases and its cross-sectional area decreases. Now we have to measure this change in length delta L per unit original length that is delta L by L with the help of piezoelectric transducer. So basic constructional setup it involves a piezoelectric crystal with two electrodes that are placed on the two ends or the surface of the crystal to capture the electric potential across which the electric potential appears. This piezoelectric setup it is you know fixed it is cemented on the surface of the object whose strain is to be measured okay the change in length the deformation is to be measured whether it is due to compression or expansion. Now the stress or pressure which is applied on that surface it is focused on this piezoelectric crystal. Here the thickness of the crystal is also very important. It will come into play. Capital L is the original length of the object. When stress is applied or pressure is applied, the surface, the object, it undergoes either compression or expansion depends depending upon in which direction the force or pressure is act acting. And it will there is a change in the length of the uh, object by a factor delta L. So when this happens, the strain in the structure which is uh, produced in the structure because of the applied stress or pressure that is transmitted to the piezoelectric crystal, the piezoelectric element and it generates an electric potential proportional directly proportional to the resultant strain okay so that is the reason why this piezoelectric crystal it is fixed it is uh, cemented on the object so that transducer the setup it is placed on the surface where, where the strain is to be measured because of the applied pressure and we get a direct voltage readout which is proportional to the resultant strain produced. 
and this output voltage is given as per this relationship the output voltage is h epsilon t here h is the piezoelectric constant which is uh, different for different materials depending on what type of crystal material is used whether it is natural synthetic and will be available in the specification sheet epsilon is the strain which is produced which is the change in length delta l divided by the original length capital l okay and uh, small t is the thickness of the piezoelectric crystal element this thickness okay so this is a very important thing because we are getting a direct voltage readout which is directly proportional to the strain produced then it can be calibrated uh, the voltage can be calibrated to get the readout in terms of the strain okay length per length units okay so this is the basic principle of uh, piezoelectric transducer which is used for measurement of strain it has various advantages it is very accurate and uh, the size of the transducer is small it, it can be easily installed fixed on the surface good frequency response characteristics the output range is also good disadvantage is, is that they are very fragile because of the applied stress the piezoelectric crystal can undergo damage the cost of uh, you know fabrication of the piezoelectric transducer it is very high and they are also sensitive to surrounding temperature changes which can cause error in the output which can generate noise signals distortion elements can be produced within the signal conditioning circuitry so these are the advantages and disadvantages so this is the basic principle of strain measurement in a surface because of the applied pressure or stress with the help of piezoelectric crystal so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much